I don't know why this has gotten so much attention. I was literally just in a rush to go vote, man. That's all it was. You know, but like I said, I was in a rush to go vote. And, uh, you know. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? Hello and welcome back, all you wonderful people. I hope you're ready to laugh your ass off and also have an embolism due to the sheer stupidity on display as the spew does their best to defend Democrat Jamal Bowman by blaming Republicans. Of course! My buddy Jamal Bowman. All right, so. <laughs> what the f is so funny? Is okay, so Democratic House member uh, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly? Like, we don't have a picture of him doing it? Uh, allegedly pulled a fire alarm. Um, he claims that it was because he was trying to get to the House floor. I, it seemed, the video seems to say, or pictures suggest otherwise. I think it was because the CR came out and he wanted more time to read the bill. But rather, again, than Congress passing a bill that would allow for him to have more time to read it, he literally pulled the fire alarm. It'd be like if I was like, didn't like the next topic and I pulled the fire alarm and ran out. We just can't do well, that. What's, what's absolutely ridiculous, wait, wait, though, wait. is that there's MAGA Republicans that are somehow equating this guy doing this infantile stunt with January 6th. To my knowledge, nobody died because this guy pulled that stunt. And, and, to my and, knowledge, nobody was bleeding. Nobody was attacked because of this stunt. We have another All right, here we go with this old lie again. The only person who was killed at the January 6th protest was the unarmed Ashley Babbitt, who was shot for no apparent reason. As far as the January 6th comparison goes, I don't expect an imbecile like her to understand. But many people were charged with felonies for obstructing Congress simply for being at the Capitol. People who weren't violent but still got prison sentences. Oh, that was different. Jamal Bowman pulled a fire alarm which created a false report and obstructed Congress. That's three crimes that most likely won't be charged because he's a Democrat. Now get ready for Sonny Hostin's totally new and not crazy theory about why Jamal Bowman obstructed Congress by pulling a fire alarm. And, and I, I don't want to call it a stunt yet. There's going to be an investigation. I know Jamal. And so again, I'm a little biased, but the doors that are normally open so that he could get to the chambers to read were somehow miraculously closed. How did that happen? And so, yes, sometimes you're freaking out and you're in an elevator and you're pressing all the buttons. What the Sometimes you're freaking out and you're in an elevator. Sometimes you're freaking out and you're in an elevator. Sometimes you're freaking out and you're in an elevator and you're pressing all the buttons. First of all, I've never gone into an elevator, started freaking out and hitting all the buttons. But I totally believe that Sonny Hostin has. Second, here we go again. This is literally the excuse every single time the spew has to carry water for Democrats. Just as we're this close well, to getting them, but you know somehow I, these but it, documents you know what, appear. But here, I know it's Does it feel like oppo research to you? Does it feel like the Republicans are behind it? Well, well see, that's the thing. It's like cocaine gate. We don't know who did this. Well, okay. And there's people who might believe that it was planted for somebody mm -hmm. so that then they could advance the Hunter Biden narrative. They're so lazy and they know their audience is so stupid that they can just say Republicans made this happen and they will believe it. All right, folks, this is the story that just keeps giving. But for today, that's all I have on it. I promise I'll keep you all up to date as new information comes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.